want for the radio, but, but we figured... you keep it all the way real? You don't keep it all the way real on the other shit? Uh, not really. No, I'll be totally honest. I have to hold back. They, they yell at me if I go... I can't go all the way real. Oh, nice. But, so we're going to keep it all the way real, and then we'll take the parts that we like, you know what I mean? The nice, clean parts for the radio. Right, 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 right. We talk about everything here, man. Like, well, we, we, I want to hear... We, we go back... Um, it's it's with your story, and by the way, with Buster and Red Meth here, these are artists who I both who I want to book for my Noisemakers events. Like you're the two next ones that I want to book are the guys in the room right now. So, no, no, it's free. Um, but, <laughs> but promo's great. She didn't even tell me that. Promo, that early no, I have a lot of weed. The mother said he fucked himself up. I have a lot of weed though. I have a lot of weed. It's a session, brother. You use the word book. That's your problem. What? You said you, you got to use the word like honor. Oh, honor. honor. Yeah, it is an honor. You said book. They was like, yeah, oh, take that oh bread. yeah, sir. Once you hear the word book, you picture check. Yeah. So, bus, what's um? Let's. I guess. I guess let's start. Sipe. What do you think? After leaders, ask them a little bit about the about coming out solo. Like, I don't know if we can start all the way back. Yeah, we can't go all the way. Because if we go all the way, we gotta have another one with just bus. Well, how about bus? First time you heard red, and first time you heard meth. That's a good question to start. First time I heard red, I was a little. I was a little like, damn son, <laughs> because I was rhyming before, but I didn't do an album before. You know what I'm saying? Red came out with his album first. 92. When yeah, so when I heard Reggie's album, I was like, like you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm an honest motherfucker when it comes to shit like that. Like, there's certain niggas that put that little slight fan in your ass. Like, this motherfucker is <laughs> going to be a problem. scary nigga. Like, like, on that microphone, the shit he was doing, the way the beats was changing, and he was producing his own shit and rhyming like that, I was like, this motherfucker is a bastard with this shit, man. Nice. So, you know, I felt real... You know, I was, I was a little uncomfortable about the situation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't going to front it. At that point, too, I always had the real close relationship with EPMD. So, them days, I used to ride out the parish crib. I used to see P more than I used to see E. And when I sit with them niggas on the one-on-ones, I had a lot of questions that I knew I wasn't going to ask this nigga when I seen him. You know what I'm saying? I sit with P, and I'd be like, yo, P, what this nigga really be on when he go in the studio? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how long he be in there? Because I don't want to understand what be like the, the time consumption and creating this shit this nigga got like the five six different tracks of vocals going back and forth he talking to himself the nigga man talking back to him and shit reggie noble talking to red man red man talking to reggie and funk doc all these different niggas i was like yo what the fuck's going on b so that bugged me out meth now when i first heard meth I was more bugging off the whole flow and the video and the move, like the fucking the 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 the, 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 the swing with the dance, the flow, and the motherfucking video. Like when I seen them, and I was like seeing the hair all over the place. The one fucking um the the um contact lens on the eye. Yeah, yeah. I got a little uncomfortable about this nigga, too. Because I was like, yo, these niggas is doing some real off-the-wall shit, and it's working for them niggas. What the fuck is going to be my off-the-wall shit? You know what I'm saying? When, when, when is this in your career? This leaders? No, this no, this is, nah, this is after leaders. Yeah, but it was leaders with meth. Mm. And it was leaders with red. When did you feel but but it was it was it was really when I had to go solo. See, when did I come out? I Tell have you. solo responsibility. Right, right. When I was with leaders, them niggas was already swinging off as solo, mm -hmm. and they was moving with clicks. I was just with leaders, so it wasn't no solo shit I had to worry about. It was when I had to go solo when those concerns came because now I was like, I'm not coming behind these niggas with my solo shit and I ain't got that next weird other level shit that ain't working for me. My shit got to work for me like it worked for them. And the other ill shit was ODB put out his solo shit before me too. Same label too. Yeah, so that was even more fucked up because now I felt like them woo niggas was infiltrating on my motherfucking territory. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm the nigga in fucking Electra. Now they got a fucking Wu Tanger at Electra, and this nigga got a whole song where he just got a chorus at the end with like three minutes of rhymes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was crazy to me because ODB with Brooklyn Zoo. Because you know, the first word of Brooklyn Zoo is shit. 
mm-hmm. and word. <laughs> that shit is insane. Yo, that song y'all did when y'all did Woo Ah remix. And then, and then I was gonna say you worked with oh, both yeah, of them. Oh yeah, that was crazy. You worked with you worked with, with you worked with Red on your album on the Flip Mode Death Squad shit, right? Yeah, that was on the first um on your first album. And yeah. then you did a remix for Wuha with ODB. So you got oh, them both Wuha involved. Wuha remix is so ill because when Wuha came out, it had mad energy to it, right? And then what's happening with Method Man? I got to work with all my motherfucking mm-hmm. favorites, brother. No, but when you did Wuha remix with you, two of the loudest, livest, craziest niggas, you made it like mellow. Like you mellowed out the remix a little bit, and the beat got. A little yeah, more the, beats, the beat feels slower. Yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. Down tempo. It was actually it wasn't slower. It was the same, same tempo, tempo, same tempo but you different. added like some vibes. Yeah, to some it. different. Yeah, and, like you wasn't both of y'all wasn't screaming on it. Right. I was like, yo, this is the, the visual. The, the visual was, was crazy. Like, it was like, oh, and about, after a while, as the video was winding down to like the end, you could see a little bit of gold on. Uh, dirt. Who had the silver on? You had the. I silver? think I had the silver and dirt oh, had the gold on. Rubbing off on each other. Word the mother, son, because we was performing and bumping into each other. Yeah. So and whatever that fucking that, shit was on, yeah. The thing y'all was strapped in the visual was crazy. Yeah, shit was crazy. Video, Glenn man. Ribble, the director, he got killed right after he made that video and shit. Damn. Yo, I give fucking credit where credit is due, man. Red Man, Buster, it's a few people that make great videos every time and shit. And y'all two of the niggas that do that shit, man. Them videos be rocking, B. No y- doubt. You sort, Thank of changed, you, man. you sort of changed the video uh, game. Not right? sort of. No, yeah, you like completely Definitely. changed the hip-hop Thank you, video man. game. Fucked it up. Thank bro. you, man. Hype needs to send you a royalty check. <laughs> like every week. the game, yo. Hey, right, Willie, man, that motherfucker right there, he fucked up the game, too, with sticking niggas up doing the Brinks truck jobs with them budgets. Yeah. Good old days. yeah. That, nigga was, that nigga was, he Thanks was. telling it. That nigga was yep. making niggas believe that that million five was so worth spending every time. <laughs> And it was never worth that. I don't give a fuck. Well, how weird is that now looking back when, like, I know you've done joints with Rick Cordero. You're, you, you know, cats who are getting shit done for a reasonable price. You look back at $1.5 million from a video. That's cats' entire budget for two albums right 2. now. $2.4 million for the Janet video. Oh. You wildin'. Like, them them videos was little mini movie 2. budgets. $2.4 million? $2.4 million. Yeah. That's and and a three-month wait. Was- in a three month wait, I waited three months to see where that 2.4 million went, my nigga. Yo, I was so proud of you in that video because I was <laughs> yeah. like, if I did a video with Janet, I'd be the same way on her ass. What? 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 I was what? Nigga, come on, man. Oh. And she'll probably know it too. Like, I'm about to, I got this check. I know he's going to it. He's waiting for it. A million dollars. Of that budget was just so he could do that. You know? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, that That's shit. That enough. shit was crazy. Like, how much is the video? One point four. Mm-hmm. How much to rub on Janice's ass? Another One million. million. Oh, Two point four million. Money well Sorry, spent. Ain't no ass worth that much. I don't give a fuck <laughs> if it fought fucking if the fucking pussy fought sparkles out the mouth. <laughs> My it ain't worth that. I don't give a fuck if the bitch can spit breakfast. I don't care if she can spit breakfast out of her pussy. It ain't worth a million. Nah, Janet, Janet but was But I love the shit out of Janet. Yeah, she was a millionaire. Janet. I, 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 I give her that just to show up. I can't hear what the fuck he's saying. You're not coming through on the speakers, bros. Send Jen in here. Send Jen from Brooklyn in here. Yo, your five o'clock shadow is serious, son. Dominican Drew. Drew, son. AKA Jen, Platano. If you have to tell us something, just send El Platano. He called you El Platano. E double. Like that. <laughs> that is E double. Why you not? Yeah, what's good? No. That's not E? No, no that's oh. almost E. <laughs> oh, okay. What the what's fuck? the question? What's Eric Sermon's question? Did Janet lick Busta in the video? Oh, Did she lick Busta in the video? Nah, let me tell you what that was about. When she stuck the tongue out at me and shit, what happened was Hype Williams, you know how they had, what's the name on that Roger Rabbit shit? What's the chick Jessica from Roger Rabbit? Ra- Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. You know how them cartoon chicks, they had that, their lipstick was so crazy, they had like their little sh- sh- reflection from a light on their lip. Yeah. Hype Williams put this white dot of paper on her shit to kind of imply that she had a light reflection on her lipstick. I think it was, it was I think this, some shit happened, the shit fell off the wrong way. She's trying to lick the shit off. So it ain't look like she was touching the lipstick and fucking up the makeup shit. So when she licked it off, I was so close to her, it looked like she was doing some tongue action towards mm, the kid. That was great. Mm. So you know, for years, man, you know, I fronted, be I like, yo, she was Damn ready. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's ready, she ready, you know, carry on. I nice. the same thing. But yeah, that was really the that was really the situation.